Hey guys, this is Coach Derek, co-host of the Soapboxing Podcast. Man, ever since I found this Anchor app, I tell you, podcasting has become a lot simpler and a lot easier to do. Uh, they distrib- the, distribute the podcast over several platforms, and you have to do no work. I tell you, man, if you're interested in doing podcasting, you need to download the Anchor app. That's A N C H O R. Dot FM. You can get started today with the Anchor app and do whatever your heart desires. All right, we live. Let me hit this little intro. This is Soap Boxing Podcast. Welcome to the Soapboxing Podcast. I'm Jiffy Morales. I'm, Derek, uh, who are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm Big Chief Pale Face. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got we got one of my favorite fighters on here today, man. Coming off a, a, a hell of a win, uh, Moran, your home girl too, aren't you? Yeah, one of my good friends, Miranda Reyes. She's been on the show before, but we'll yeah. reintroduce her. And then we have her manager, Ryan Roach. That's your name, right? Ryan Roach? That's me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so most people know you as Freddie Roach's nephew, but obviously you've created your own identity and you've been doing your own thing. So tell us who you are and what you do. Yeah, so, uh, you know, obviously grew up around the uh, sport of boxing. Uh, my father was a fighter. My grandfather, um, you know, started it all with all the boys. And then my grandmother was actually the first woman judge up here in Boston. So uh, deep tradition of boxing. I decided to get, you know, into the game uh, three years ago. And uh, I think I can done all right and help some fighters along and, make their career, you know, last a little longer and uh, make it easier for them. Oh, cool. So right now you just, you're solely managing boxers? Yeah, I just manage, uh, you know, obviously Freddie, Freddie can stick to the training. I'll, uh, I'll stick to the managing. Is your daddy Pepper, bro? Who is Pepper? Pepper No, Pepper is my uncle. Uh, My dad was Joey. He was, he, he fought at like 112 pounds. He was the smaller one. Okay. Oh wow. I remember, man, I remember uh I met Pepper one time. I, I've been around Freddie, but we don't know each other. Nobody oh, yeah, yeah. knows him. But uh Pepper, man, he I met him once uh man, that dude's funny, man. That dude's kicks, man. What yeah. happened to him, bro? He was training fighters, right? He was, yeah. You know, he was probably the best athlete out of all of them too, but uh he actually had a stroke uh on one of the um series of uh on freddie roach that hbo documentary he had a stroke and uh he hasn't yeah he's never really recovered since then oh, where is he is he is he in california? he's still in california yeah he's a little north of Hall, uh la hollywood he's uh you know he's in a 24-hour pretty much care facility which kind of stinks seeing him there but damn it, yeah, it my, is what it is you know my pops ended up in one of them man when you know towards the end but Man, I used to like listening to him uh, uh, talk about boxing, man. He loved boxing, man, and, and he, it was a historian, man. I used to love listening to that guy talk about yeah. it. Uh, okay, that she is in the bottom corner right there for me. Uh, Miranda, I, 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 I 
kind of had a feeling we was going to go show our ass up there. But I just wasn't going to say nothing until you did it. <laughs> but uh, how was it? How I mean, let me know. But uh, uh, Ryan, how, how did y'all hook up first? Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, what did you see? How did you find out about Miranda? What did you see in her? We know she doesn't have any amateur background. Yeah, so uh, uh, Jeremy Lance actually uh, reached out to me and said, uh, yeah, check out uh, Miranda Reyes. The president of ABO, ABO, right? ABF? ABF, ABF yep. Uh, you know, so we linked up. We talked for a little bit, and uh, I talked to her coaches, and, you know, they they liked what they seen on the contract, and we kind of we struck a deal, and, uh, you know, here we are after her biggest win. It's, it's boxing, it's relationships. That's how you hear it. Yeah. yeah. I actually met Jeremy in Columbia, and he he was like, oh, do you know Miranda? I, I remember I reached out to you, Miranda. I was like, do you know this man? He was like, there was, some, there was just something in her eyes that I saw that, like, I just knew that she had it. And I was like, I know her! <laughs> she, yeah. she, she was, uh, she was, uh, Built by an old time, uh, uh, been around Houston forever, and uh, and I remember when I seen a box initially, and uh, Lencho, who done I worked the cuts or whatever several times, he said, "Man, coach, this girl could fight, man." And I said, "And I'm a big woman's boxing guy, right?" So I seen, I watched her, and I said, "Oh shit!" I said, uh, "Oh, she can really fight." I said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so I had her on the podcast. Asked her to come on the podcast. She came on the podcast, and then I learned about how did she, you know, she sparred basically rather than had an amateur career. I said what? And it was it. So I've been on board ever since, man. And uh, I like what y'all doing, and 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 I figured she could do something like she did uh, up there. And uh, where where was the fight? The fight was in. Uh, it was Rhode in Massachusetts. Huh? Where was it? In Rhode Island. Rhode Island, Rhode Island. Yeah, man, because that, that, you weren't in there with no uh, slouch, man. That's a, uh, yeah. that's a real fighting woman you went up there and whooped on. And from what I hear, because forgive me, I, I, I missed the, uh, you know, because I buy them boxing TV fights. I buy whatever if I got somebody on there I'm rooting for. So I'm, uh, I need to go back and try to find it. But from what I hear, man, it wasn't really, uh, like it was, it was unanimous, like it, like they said. It was, it was, you was you impressed, bro, or what, right? It was impressed. I, mean, I, I, you know, I knew it was the right fight, the right time for Miranda. Um, and she had a good training camp. Uh, you know, hats off to her. You know, she she worked her tail off. Uh, and then you know, I just I knew it would be, you know, the girl. You know, she was a. A former world champion and a hall of fame in her own but you know at the end of the day i knew you know i talked to some people and they said miranda hits like a truck and uh i just knew that it was the right fight you know at the at the right time and i knew that that would open the doors to a lot of things and she as, as long as she had a good training camp we talked to her coach and that was one of the things you know she she has a good training camp she focuses and and she did her job and came up there. I was worried, not gonna lie, at the end uh, that we're gonna maybe get robbed, but uh, she, she definitely did enough to impress the judges. And I think she won a lot of new fans up here. It was great seeing it. Everyone wanted to take pictures with her after. Um, you know, that's one thing we gotta get her on more social media. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about like the mix between social media and being an athlete. I actually watched the fight live and um, it's probably better to watch it muted because the commentators were obviously for the home side. So the commentators had they had Jamie up. Uh, they had Miranda winning like two rounds yeah. and um and the guy was like oh it's you know it's home it's hometown advantage and then he kind of like caught himself but if you you know if you watch it objectively it Miranda was clearly dominating on rounds and then there was like you know there's always like a, a commentator for the a side and a commentator for the b side so the other commentator was like no I think Jamie needs to retire she really needs to go back to the drawing board and see because Miranda she's young she's hungry she doesn't have anything to lose at this point so and we kind of didn't know like based off of the commentary 
I was worried too, because I didn't know what the judges were going to see or what way they were going to call it. But I'm really happy that they, you know, they gave it a fair shot because she clearly earned that. Was yeah. she, uh, Ryan, was the, was, uh, Jamie, was she the promoters fighters? I mean, she was, for she's, the promoters? Yeah, she, she's a big ticket seller for them. Uh, I don't believe they have a deal, but obviously she, you know, she has fought under his banner many times. Um, you know, there's, there's ways around that. And sometimes even, you know, I, I didn't, I was hoping we didn't get robbed. You know, I think Miranda, obviously I thought she won every single round. She finished strong. Um, she obviously, to me, was the clear winner. But, you know, sometimes even taking that fight and if, you know, if, if she did lose on the, on the scorecards by chance, everyone would still know that she won and it would still be, you know, a good, a good fight for her. You can't mm-hmm. tell me how pissed off the promoter was with you, or you, you don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. She's a ticket seller, bro. That's, you know, that's, wow. they, that's how they do their thing, man. Yeah. I'm fucking with you, of course, but I'm sure. I'm, man. Sure, I'm sure he's a little lie. Uh, he didn't seem too happy after. He shook my hand, though. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Uh. So, um, for those who don't, who didn't follow up or didn't, doesn't really know who Miranda is. Miranda, you care to introduce yourself? Let us know your weight class, your stats, who you are, what you've been doing. <laughs> Hi, well, I'm Miranda Reyes, professional boxer. I got a record of 611. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Right? What's your weight class? Um, I usually fight uh, around 140 to 135. Okay. And who do you who do you train with? Uh, I train with uh for right now, I'm training with uh James Cooper and Marlene Sparsa here at Houston at O Athletic. Okay. Um and what got you into boxing? Um, <laughs> my brothers, my brother, um, I used to fight him when I was little. I'm the only girl from, you know, my family. So I will have to fight <laughs> all the time. And well, just, um, my family, you know, they were into and from watching all these fights. That's pretty much it. Did you ever, did you like, did you plan to be a professional boxer? Did you see yourself like fighting for money or like just doing this? No. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I never really thought I would actually do it like professionally. I just knew I was a fighter. Like, you know, so I started doing boxing like a, a um, like a routine. Like exercise and all that, and from there, like I started noticing, and you know, the coaches who started noticing that I was good. So from there, I started liking it, progressing, and all that. Yeah, she's very like humble and modest. I've actually trained with her. We were in a we we've been in a few training camps together, and we've sparred. I fight at one hundred and five, and she's obviously a lot heavier to me. She actually busted my nose, <laughs> and she was like, "I didn't try to." So she does hit like a truck, and she's she's a very hard worker, and she progresses every time. Like every time we spar, and every time that I see her, so she doesn't. She doesn't like to talk about it much, but she's really, really good. And just like watches a lot of videos. She does like veteran tricks too. I'm like, how'd you do that? Show me. <laughs> <laughs> I got Ryan. I got I got this bad little dude, man. 132 pounds. He's an amateur. He got a handful of amateur fights. I call him danger. But uh he's bad. He's real bad. And uh I sent him over there with my wealth away. And and he got in the ring with Miranda. <laughs> And so the next night at the gym, you're like, yeah, bro, I spoiled your girl, man. I said, yeah, she punched the shit out of me, man. I, <laughs> I was backing away and I, I said, say, bro, I don't, I'm not a fan. Of, if I tell you they good, bro, they good. You can't stand in front of But he was complaining for a week that she bust him in the nose. <laughs> oh, my God. Which one is that? Do you remember, do you remember that, Miranda? No, I said. Dominic. <laughs> Dominic, he got the dreads, skinny. 
Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, K calling worm. Yeah, but you busted him up and he talked about it for a week, man. Uh yeah, man. So uh y'all made the connection. She's been with you the whole time, brother, or what? Oh uh probably probably about what the last 18 months. Yeah, probably roughly. So for all all of her fights? No, not all of them. Uh I think you were already what two two and oh or three and oh? Yeah, I was already two and oh. Yeah. So we, yeah, we went to Mexico a couple times, and then uh, she came up here to Boston, and then this is the last one. Last two, she's actually been in the Northeast. So okay. So do you have so how have things changed after like the big win? Like, are the offers increasing, or like is things just going crazy? What's yeah, I, I told her that was going to happen uh, right after the fight, and. You know, the phone hasn't stopped ringing. Obviously, you know, she's coming off a big win. And people, you know, she's still a free agent. I think we she's still only 20 years old, too. So, yeah. kind of, you know, I talked to her the other day. We, you know, pump the brakes. We don't have to take anything too crazy right now. You know, we can uh, kind of call our own shots. And, you know, maybe, you know, pick up a couple more wins and then go for the title, you know. Do you oh, have, so do cool. You How have, did you feel to hear that, Miranda? Well, I'm excited. <laughs> do you have other uh, do, do you have other women fighters or or heavyweight no, women fighters? No, she's my first and only. So uh, Jeremy was trying to get me with a couple, uh, you know, other Colombian. Uh, but it's really, you know, obviously it's it's harder once you get into those visa issues. People don't really understand that, but uh, you know, it's a lot of work and. I'm trying to keep it small so I can give each fighter. It's already crazy as it is. Uh, each fighter the attention they need to. Or you. That's, uh, I'm, I'm, I think that's really cool that you know you keep it small and you're focusing on the fighters because once you make it too big, like we feel neglected at some point, and you know we yeah. need love too. Fighters get uh they get you know detrimental and <laughs> they get all uh they start to get crazy if you don't call them and check in every day. Some of them. Yeah, they got bad nerve. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, I got bad nerve. Yeah. I'm bothering the hell out of my manager. <laughs> you, uh, how do you feel about the? I don't have any any any, any women's fighters. I've trained young girl, you know, young amateurs and stuff. But I'm such a uh, again, I, I I I'm such a purveyor of women's boxing and and how I see how you can move women in the sport is completely different than the guy oh, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, you're on the same thing you're on the same it's, it's yeah i mean she could fight for a world title probably under 10 fights you know like there's just i obviously there's way less people in uh their classes and uh you know in the in the field so it makes it you know that much uh easier to fight for one but you know, like her, she's only 20. She doesn't have to rush to that right now. But I think she's not even peaking yet, you know. So I'd rather, you know, so I always try to tell my fighters it's a marathon, not a sprint, you know. Mm -hmm. That, uh, <clears throat> now, I really think while, while that helps them, of course, and, and losses don't affect them like it does the guys. No. Uh, you uh, read my mind. That was like my next thing. Okay, they're, co-host. There, there. You can fast track them, so so you want to slow them down so they don't go too fast. Yeah. But I'm I'm impressed, bro. Personally, as a trainer, because that's really what I am. I, I'm impressed by the girl. This isn't this isn't the nineties, bro. This no. these, these gals are bad, bro. Yeah. They can fight, man. And yeah. so it's gonna be, you know. I think you. I think your second tier fighters is, is competitive, you know. And then yeah. you got these elite girls that are so dominant, you know, that uh, you don't want to just just because they can get there. Don't mean you want to just throw them in there, you know. You want to mm -hmm. do the best best as they can. But yeah, man, it's such a it's such a completely different ball game to me, man. Yeah. I'm excited about that because it's 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 different. It's up. It's a different way to do it, you know. Yeah. Uh, 
And, and yeah, people no longer view us as like, oh, you just throw the pretty faces in there and they scrap it out. Like, no, we're really thinking, we're really boxing, and it's equivalent to the guys and then more entertaining. Yeah. The only naysayers, the only naysayers I see these days when women's boxing is fans. Like there's some fans that just don't know what they're talking about. Most fans don't. But they just, you know, they either like it or don't. But people inside boxing, Ryan, you could probably attest to this, bro. It, the people inside, they know Clarissa, Sinisa, Marlon, uh, you know, they know that all these girls is bad, man. They can all really fight, man. These, yeah. these girls, is, is, you go watch the women's fight, half the time it's more entertaining than the guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On the I, think, but, I think the fans enjoyed Miranda's fight more than anything that night. Yeah, it was a really good fight. Miranda, what were you – so for me, I got bad nerves. I don't know. Like, what were you thinking going into it? How prepared did you feel? How did the crowd feel, the atmosphere? What was it like afterwards when waiting on the decision? Like, the whole the whole mindset. Hold on. Let me, hold, hold, hold on for your answer. <laughs> so, I didn't get to see the fight, right? And the first clip I seen – was of the announcement. And so I'm looking at it and she had like a a mean mug on. I said, oh shit. Did this not go well? What the what the hell happened? And then and then they say your name was a sis. I said, oh shh. Cause she looked she went from aggravated and mad look like and so they laid it and and, and just she happened. looked like at the entire yeah. fight i asked her about that afterwards i texted her it was like i was like man you look mean and like just focused the whole time like what what was the mindset um well um people asked me if i was nervous about fighting outside but i'm already used to that i'm already used to you know being you know a visitor basically so i knew i was like had to ignore the crowd you know but some people actually cheer for me so that was good i wasn't really paying attention to that but i was really confident with my my preparation basically my camp it was good i had been in camp for like the longest i feel like because i was supposed to fight on april 30th but, you know, we didn't make that happen. So I just stayed in camp, you know, after that. And that's when we decided to take this fight. And I was like, well, you know, I'm already ready. So might as well get it. So, yeah, I just went in there and I was focused on, you know, I've been doing this this whole entire time. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. So you were just preparing yourself for whatever they say. That's what you was doing. I was just ready. I was. Okay. Because it looked like you were about to sneak somebody. <laughs> they didn't say the right thing. <laughs> so I know, like, I can always feel if I won this round or what I need to do to adjust. Like, in between rounds, like, what was going through your mind? Were you like, okay, I won this round. Now I got to do this. Or, like, were you just listening to your corner or what? Um, no, I feel like I dominated the whole fight. <laughs> like, I could see it in Jamie's face. That's what yeah. I mean. Like, I could see my opponent, like, feeling hurt, feeling, um, like, um, you know, um, she was, um. Discouraged a little? Yeah, like, she, she was got, getting kind of, like, a little bit annoyed, I guess, from me coming and coming and coming and she was grabbing a lot she was like trying to stop you yeah and then she was getting tired so i could see that in her face so i was like um you know i dominated her basically so and was, how did it feel waiting on the decision like are these people gonna rob me or what in my mind i was like it's gonna be a draw they're gonna make it a draw because you know they raised both our hands but mm -hmm. then and, and by unanimous decision, I knew it was me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was nervous when they say unanimous decision. I'm like, I know damn well they didn't think that this lady won. Yeah. I think even in the video, you can see my smirk. Like, I do a little smirk because I knew deep down that I won. But, Ryan, yeah. you, Ryan, you was in the corner, huh, brother? 
That's yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, I had to work the corner, and she actually kept looking up at the TV screen up above us, like trying to watch. Yeah. We, we kept trying to get her not to because she had a huge egg on her head. Oh, they headbutted it, and we were like, we didn't want her to see it, so we were trying to distract her from that. But uh, yeah, you know, Lencho did a great job. Got that. Uh, he got it down right away. And, yeah, because uh, yeah, I didn't. You know, I only seen the end of the fight clip, and I didn't. I didn't see nothing. No, nah, it was like the second or third round. It. Uh, yeah. It was, it was a pretty big welt, and uh, and, he, and he did his thing. Yeah, yeah. I had Lencho in my corners before. He's a good guy, yeah. man. He's a great guy to work with. Yeah, he was trying to get me to be in there, and I was like, no, you're in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Do you usually work the corners of your fighters? I usually go up in there, you know, but I don't uh, – depends on the fight. But, yeah, usually – sometimes I will if they if the trainer needs an extra hand. And uh, no, it's actually funny. Lencho was sent, sending me pictures yesterday with my uncle, and I was like, hey, tell him I'm decent in the corners, all right? <laughs> yeah, he's down there in uh, San, San Antonio. Antonio. Yeah, time called. Yes, I was talking to him yesterday. Uh, so you gonna sit back? You gonna evaluate? I mean, I, I know you want to keep her active. She got a she got a fight, but uh, or, or is the northeast what you mostly gonna base her on? I mean, what's what's your what's your idea? For I mean, her? I'd like to get her, you know, down there, you know, in front of her home crowd too. Uh, yeah. I Obviously, there's probably a huge fan base down there for her, um, you know. But you know, she's training with James James Cooper now, you know. So gotta you know, talk to him and see what uh, you know. I'm getting offers every day, and uh, we'll see what makes the most sense. You know, see what see what fight we gotta take. How is Ryan? How is that relationship with James? Does that work well, like in planning fights for her in her future, in her preparation? I mean, uh, you know, we we actually – she just worked that first camp with him, you know, in Milan. So, I, don't, you know, um, I've never really actually had any uh, deals with him yet. So, but, you know, we'll yeah, strike I didn't even know, I didn't even know if she switched trainers, bro. So, and I, I didn't even know she made the move yet. So, yeah, I'm sure that's fresh. That's a fresh new deal y'all doing, man. Yeah. Uh, um, You know, um. You know, I really um, with I was with Kay and all them, right? But you know, they're always on the road. So mm -hmm. I feel um, when I moved to O Athletic, well, I just pulled up there to spar Marlene for her. Last when we both were in her training camp, yeah. and we were like, we gonna stay. <laughs> and so um, I ended up there, and I mean, I like the environment. I like the gym everything was cool and ever since I stayed there and well they helped me with this camp so I'm guessing you know I'm gonna stay here since the K and all them they're always out <laughs> yeah at the end of the day I mean you have to do what is best for you and for your career what you feel comfortable with and I imagine it doesn't feel good, you know, with your trainers everywhere. And at least you have like a steady, consistent environment. You're learning things and then obviously you perform well. So Yeah. Don't don't fix what ain't broken. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's just that. Um, you know, I'm just happy. I'm happy how like things are working out for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's one thing, you know, I don't I don't get involved in any uh training decisions you know I, I try to tell the fighter like hey listen you're with your trainer the most yeah you know, anyone you know, yes that's close as anyone you you should have the best relationship with your trainer so you know whoever's gonna make your career better and you feel most comfortable with that's you know i'm good with whatever the fighter thinks that's pretty cool i so the only reason why i asked because my my manager is like he's really, really involved with my trainers and like, they don't like, basically they don't do anything without talking to each other. And I'm like, well, who is in charge here? Is it me? Uh <laughs> I mean, I'll get involved and talk to like, you know, talk to the trainers and ask them the game plan and stuff like that. But you know, as far as everything else, I, I stay out of it. They, you know, they'll, they're the closest, you're, you're closest with your trainer. I, yeah. I think. Well, that's pretty cool. I I think that Miranda's in a really good spot in her career as far as like 
the people that she has in her corner, literally and figuratively. And I, I the only way is up. Yeah, I mean, she looked, she looked unreal that night. I was talking to her about that the other day. Like, it's the best she's looked. Uh, you yeah. know, I was, I was happy with her performance. Obviously, being around another world champion, bo- you know, woman boxer that's been already at that level. You know, she, it was. I watched them. They were talking before the fight. Uh, you know, she was helping her out, telling her some, some keys, what to do, and stuff like that. So, you know, just being around that atmosphere is huge for. Miranda. You know. Yeah, um, I think like working with Marlene really helped me because, you know, she like mentally because, um, you know, Jamie was a four times champion. So um, being with Marlene in the ring, it was more like, OK, don't um, respect her, you know, go at her. Like, it doesn't matter if you're a world champion, like you got to go for her. So I already had that mentality when I went and, you know, and fought Jamie, like, no respect. I don't care if you're a world champion. I don't care if you're a Hall of Famer. Like, I mm-hmm. So I guess that really helped me, like, training with her and, you know, sparring with her. Yeah, it really, like, boosts my confidence and everything whenever I went. <laughs> No, it's it's really good. I remember we talked about it before because um, you were in training camp with Marlene for her last fight and you felt like I got to whoop her. Like I got to, you know, I have to put the pressure on her because it's on me if she doesn't win this fight. And so it's it, like it helped you and it helped her in the long run. So, no, yeah. I think it's, it's really good to surround yourself around people that are going to make you better. Yeah. 100%. Marlena is dominated at every level of this game, so you mm-hmm. you're not gonna you're not gonna do much better than <laughs> training having a training partner like that. So I mean that's a that's a beautiful situation. Hey, uh, right? How long you been managing fighters, brother? Ah, uh, since 2018, so four years now. Of course, got got into it, and then you know a year into it, COVID happens. So a year and a half. So man, that. That hurt everybody, man. That hurt managers, fighters, everybody in boxing, man. Yeah. And then once the once the once the promoters that got so backed up to where they, you know, just trying to get their signed kids fights, you know, it, yeah. it, it really put a hamper on things, man. Uh, yeah. Miranda's been able to fight several times in this thing, you know. So mm-hmm. that, you know, a lot of people didn't even have that luxury, man. Uh but yeah, you being born in the boxing, man, I, I'd imagine you you it was a conscious decision to get into the management side of it, right? I'm gonna go Yeah, I mean, my dad wouldn't really let me fight. Uh you know, so he obviously Freddie had Parkinson's when I was born. And obviously, you know, they thought it was boxing and do so that was kinda, you know, my no go. My grandfather handed me gloves, but the rest of the family was like, No way, you know. Yeah, it definitely, even if it didn't come from that, it don't help that you're a boxer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. So how, old I, you, how old are you? I'm 40 now. 40? Okay. Yeah. So uh, I did, you know what, I did, but, you know, my dad passed away 2009, and then I uh, started a charity in 2018, and shortly after that, I, I connected with a couple of local boxers in Boston, and they were like, hey, you should manage, and I was like, oh, I'll give it a whack, you know, and here we are, and uh, you know it's it's been good. I actually got, I run a charity fight night, and it's an amateur thing. And I I got in there and did it myself just to see, put myself through a training camp to see what the fight is going through. Um, you know, and my game plan went out the window in the first minutes. So. <laughs> I tell you, bro, uh, and I'm yelling at them in the in the corner like, "Hey, stick to the game plan," but it, it happened. Easier said than done. Uh. I tell you, man, the game needs the game needs you. Yeah, I mean, you after my heart with that. When I heard you say, uh, you know, let the coaches be the coaches. You know, they they would know better than than me what she should be doing yeah. for the fight and all that stuff. Because, brother, that's half of it, right there, man. Uh, I know. That's why I was like, perfect, like perfect position, like the 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 lines don't cross. Smart, it, smart like smart. 
manage we, Good job, God, because Miranda, they got you. <laughs> it, it, it only serves, it only serves if 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 you're a manager, and I manage a couple fighters as well out of necessity, but you know, it only serves a purpose. If you're a manager and you're interested and you got this fighter, well, I got her because she can fight. And somebody got to fight. And what the fuck? I'm going to tell her how to do this and how to do that. I'm going to just navigate, you know, hey, coach, we got this. What you think? You know yeah. what I'm saying? It just, it just makes sense. And 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 all the great Peter Kine had my fighter, man. And Pete would just be like, coach, I got this, that, and the third. You tell me which one you want. Yeah. Well, that's 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 the only kind of managers I'm gonna work with anyway. You know, mm -hmm. you're not gonna come tell me, hey man, I got him a fight with such and such. You didn't even ask me if I think it's you know what I'm saying. I, I'm not gonna work under those conditions. So those those great those great managers, I find they all like that. They all understand. Let me manage. Don't tell me how to manage, and I'm not gonna tell you how to train the fighters, man. And yeah. that's uh, that's that that's what makes it good. So I was I, I'm like. I'm like Jeff, man. I was happy to hear that, man, because yeah. that's you, you, you know, I, all opportunities ain't good opportunities, right? No, mm -hmm. no I mean, sometimes the promoters want to, are the only ones that want to win. So you got to be cognizant of that, too. You know, and I, I yeah. feel like I have to work with all different types of coaches. So I have to have a relationship with every single coach. I can't, you know, persuade one or the other, you know. 100%. 100%. Well, I tell you, man, I think, uh, you know, hey, man, I, I, I'm i I'm a fan of most people, but I think Miranda would tell you how big a fan I am of her. So I'm happy to, I'm happy to talk to you, bro, and, and know that you got our best interest, man. And and, 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 and and to be honest with you, man, that was, you know, you could say it. You could say it in front of her. No, nah, those people didn't think she was going to win. That's why they was bringing her in there. But y'all yeah. knew. But y'all knew. And yeah. so that's 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 the way in, you know. That's how you get in that door. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll take this fight, sure, and yeah. uh, kick their ass and keep it moving. Now it's like you uh, sucked up all their superpowers, and let's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and most people wouldn't have taken that fight Please to be on the B side to go on the hometown. Like most people wouldn't have done that. Spring Street. Yeah, she went up there and sold out, huh? Because yeah. that wasn't. It, but I mean, people, that's, how, that's how I know she smashed, bro. Because if she won by unanimous decision, she was shining like new money. I already know. Yeah. They ain't gonna give it to you in any other. And that's also why I know the promoter was pissed off at y'all, man. <laughs> you don't back to Texas, girl. Had <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to bring the heat up there. Yeah, absolutely, man. So I'm glad <laughs> to see y'all did it, man. And I'm sure that I'm sure that she's got uh plenty of little offices about navigating. You know, navigating which ones to take and keep the keep the momentum going, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. I'm glad to see you on the next. And and now we just have to work on um, branding and social media and making money outside of the ring, Miranda. I know she's, she's very she's very marketable. We just got to uh, yes, got to come out I've of been telling her that, man. I've been Miranda, haven't I told you that from the beginning? I and, know. And she just she claims everyone, everyone after one of the sexual Miranda. <laughs> okay. I, I, we tried a little bit, you know. I took like a few pictures of her and I was like, come on, just just put your face on it. She's like, I don't know how. Like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you, definitely, you definitely need all that good stuff, man. <clears throat> well, uh hey bro, uh the next time, the next thing y'all got, of course, I'm gonna push it on. On I push, I push Miranda on my personal shit, and I'm not. I'm just a fan, bro. I, I don't have nothing to do with her, you know. Now we appreciate it. We appreciate it definitely. And then, and then, of course, on the podcast and stuff. And, and we've been running a podcast. We was running a podcast strong for about three years, bro. I done had them all. Clarissa, Marlene. I done had all the girls on here. I done had all the all the champs on here, man. Uh. Uh, I took a little sabbatical, man, just because I was burnt out, bro. I got a bunch of shit going on. But yeah. now we're trying to kick it back up, man. And 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 uh, I was talking to Lynch when he was like, man, you 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 put Miranda back on. I said, like, shit, Jam, we might well come back now. And let's do it again, man. So we're going to start doing these shows again. And we're going to push it no matter, you know, where is that? When is that? Uh, yeah. we, I'm going to keep up with you. And I followed you on your stuff so I can keep up with her. Yeah. 
right? Oh, and I'll yeah. keep pushing her too. I'm like a social media person. Yeah. <laughs> Keep I'm like, I'll, I'll keep posting her and things like that. So, you, uh, I think y'all are doing a great job. Thank I'm you. sure you're pushing. I'm sure you, uh, because I, I seen that my dad had Parkinson's and my brother, man. Yeah. Uh, my dad boxed, my brother didn't, but he, that's why I was telling you, it could be the boxing or yeah. it could be the boxing made it worse, you know. Uh, Definitely. but yeah, yeah, my dad and my brother had it, but, um, so I seen your charity. I think I followed your Parkinson thing. Yeah. Or I followed something with it, and then uh, yeah. and I'm gonna Appreciate check you out, bro. So I can get familiar yeah. with any other fighters. Yeah, you got, yeah. But actually, trying to get with Lou Savarisi down there and try to do a charity fight night in Houston. So I'll let oh, you know. Man. Hopefully, we can do that next year. Nice. Okay, cool. That's a good dude, and I'm sure yeah. it'll be a good show. Yeah, yeah, very good dude. Very good dude. I like him mm -hmm. a lot. So, uh. And as always, bro, you got some fighters or something, man. Yeah. If they want to come on, let me know. And then we're going to push, uh, we gonna push uh, we gonna always push Miranda, bro, until she gets that title. Sounds good. I appreciate it. Thank y'all for coming on. on. I'm pretty sure y'all got lots of offers to do interviews and things like that. So, yeah, but appreciate it's only it. one me, bro. So, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm real exclusive, man. So that's why oh, I ain't yeah. got a million views. I don't want a million views. I'm real exclusive. <laughs> Speaking with y'all. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, man. Appreciate, Appreciate y'all coming on. Let us know what's happening. We're going to share it. I'm going to be, I'm going to chop this up so we can post clips and stuff. And I'll send them to y'all so y'all can share it too. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah. You too. All right, man. Y'all be good, man. Bye. Miranda.